So in these stages, these steps, some of us, we just want to hasten the steps that we think, you know, maybe we can rush things and get it there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has laid out a plan, laid out a sunnah that we need to follow. We follow the things that we need to do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take care of the rest of the things. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu in tansurullah yansurkum wa yuthabbit aqdamakum. You hope the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will help you and make firm your grounding, make firm your conviction, make firm your journey. How are you going to make firm your journey? By doing those things on a regular basis that will strengthen your iman, strengthen your conviction. And that's by doing the, the regular ibadah that we find. So no one's taking them trivial. At the same time, when you respect your brothers, come today, we're talking about tawbah. We're concerned about everything else around us as well. For every station, there's a statement to make. It's incorrect to take everything and say, oh, from my talk, oh, he must be a Sufi. Take my talk and say, he must be just one of those talking about any purification of the soul. That's unfair. We shouldn't become judgmental. We believe as much as Sharia of Allah as any other individual. As any other individual, those stigmas that you find, you know, that we don't believe the Sharia, we don't want the Sharia to rise, we don't want people to be governed by the Sharia, etc. That's just a myth. Every single Muslim is an activist in trying to reawaken, reignite the people to, to live by the Sharia, to accommodate the Sharia, to understand the Sharia. That's what we're all doing at the end of the day. There are some people have taken it to a different element, and that's the, all we're being weary of. Other than that, we share exactly the same many concern, inshallah. Wallahu